I came with my dad, who's 85 years old, and he would like to see this as well. Looking back at local Montreal history, this Remembrance Day from an interactive map, bringing you to historic locations, to this exhibition, Westmount at War, focuses on the contributions of Westmount residents to Canada's war effort from World War I to the present. Having grown up in Westmount and attending uh, Westmount High, and being a veteran myself, I served in the United States Navy uh, with service in a combat theater in the Persian Gulf. And uh, this was something of interest to me when I saw online that there was an exhibit at the Royal Montreal Regiment for veterans from Westmount. From military equipment to photographs, the physical exhibition features historical artifacts and eight bilingual interpretive panels reflecting Westmount's eight electoral districts, also covering different themes. We have uh, women, women participation. When we think about the conflict, we often think about people out there, but a lot of people were here participating in the wartime effort. Effort. And on their online exhibition, a memorial map, available on their website. We always like people to contact us if they want to add their family member to the map. Uh, that's always great. It makes my day. One of the many locations the interactive map can bring you is here, the former home of Flight Sergeant Donald Ross Stewart. But what is the history behind this? So Stewart, he actually joined the uh, the Canadian Royal Air Force when he was only 21. And he went from Canada to England. Um, a lot of Canadians were posted in England. And um, he participated in a lot of um, a sports club over there. He was a runner. He was quite an athlete. But he was not the only uh, West Montier uh, from um, from Westmount to join the the Canadian Royal Air Force. Actually, we find um, that more than I thought. Uh, I found this quote right here that roughly half of all the men from uh, Westmount during World War II uh, joined the Canadian Royal Air Force. I know what it is to serve in the military and to what it is to serve in harsh conditions and to be in a combat theater. It's not something you wish on anybody else, but some of us have to do that so everybody else on the face of the earth could live free. The free exhibit open to all runs until November 13th at the Royal Montreal Regiment Armory. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.